Hi everyone, I'm here today to show a video on a headstock repair I'm working on. I'm using G-Flex epoxy from West Systems. This is the first time I've used this particular epoxy. I found it very easy to work with, much more so than I expected. It mixes in a one-to-one -one ratio. Epoxy is messy even by glue standards, but I was able to clean as I worked using paper towels and naphtha. The physical consistency of G-Flex made this possible because it's not too runny, but also not too thick and cumbersome. The smell was manageable as well. The Proppers Guitar Workstation allowed me to angle the headstock steeply toward the ground when I was applying the epoxy, so gravity guided the glue where I wanted it to go. I opened and closed the joint several times to encourage the epoxy to flow into the joint. I used a rope clamp system in conjunction with the workstation. The rope clamp idea is credited to Frank Ford. I learned about it recently from Doug Proper. I modified the idea slightly I'm using a ratchet strap and a rope. I tighten the ratchet until it starts to get tight. Then I twist the vice clamp until it gets exactly as tight as I want. The ratchets have too much space between notches, so the rope twist allows a much more subtle micro adjust to final tension. I used rope in the back to secure the hooks and loop the strap up and through, which is slightly different than my last video. I chose the shim system deliberately so as to get the best angle for pulling on the headstock. The two clamps on the headstock provide the final pressure to close the glue joint. I want to credit several luthier friends who helped me plan this repair. Doug Proper of the Guitar Specialist, Inc., Trevor Healy of Healy Guitars, Alan Watsky, Danny West of West Guitars, and of course the entire cast of Luthing Characters at the Luth Group and Patreon Luth Along, which is a group started by Ian Davlin. If you're repairing guitars at any level, including novice and amateur, you really need to join the Luth Group.